What's up you all? Welcome to Spunky Chico YouTube channel. Right, I'm gonna walk through in details how to scope out Kyoko then all the setups very easy and fast. Then the final highest was the gold glitch solo, which is by the way updated after all patches and DLCs in 2024. So with that being said, let's get to it. Right first, let's do the gather intel to find out what's our secondary loot in the dock and the primary target. So get to the planning screen and start the heist. For that, you gotta pay 100,000 GDA dollars. So once you hit the gather intel mission, go to fast travel. Here you choose the closest location of this yellow dot in the radar. So your Kosatka spawned right there. Now I really recommend you guys to buy Sparrow after your first run Kyo because it's cheap compared to Oppressor MK2 and you're gonna need during your setups for Kyo. Now for those who hasn't bought yet the Sparrow, I'm gonna show you this mission without Sparrow. So after you spawn near the yellow dot, drive through the beach, then come out and kill those guards, then hop onto the Vellum and leave for Kyo Perico. Now when you landed at Kyo for scope out, grab the spike here, open the map. First you gotta do is scope out the Nod Dog for secondary loot because going solo Kyo Nod Dog has the best secondary loot. It's the straight path as you can see in the map. Now just follow me, try to be on left side edge of the beach and keep going until you reach this dock. Now once you reach the dock, there are three spots for you to scope the loot. It's really easy here at the North Dog to scope things. Just keep an eye for the guards patrolling and you'll be good. Just follow me how I go to these spots to scope and you do the same. Take pictures of the loot and send it to Bevel. Now this spot's supposed to be open with two players but for some very weird reason you can open it solo. I've been doing this for almost an year and this spot has the best loot if you know what I mean. It's Coco, which gives you max secondary money after gold bars. Look out for this guard uniform, the disc guys, which gives you the option to move around the island getting secondary loot in finale. Now once you're done scoping the dock, hop on the bike again, open the map, you gotta go to this tower to scope your primary target so get going. Now this part you're gonna jump out that cliff to get to the other side. Just wait this guard to turn around. The trick is for the good jump here is when you about to hit the cliff wheel your bike and you get a good jump. Now follow me through here till we reach tower. Now climb up the tower and hack into system to scope inside for your primary. Hey, you gotta scope two things. First, your primary and second, the west storage. If there's gold bars in it, I'm going to show you the gold or wall glitch in the finale. So after you're done scoping, just kill yourself to get back fast to the airstrip where you leave for Los Santos to proceed the rest of the set of missions for Cairo Eco Heist. Now here's the cool trick to get back to Kusatka fast. Open interaction menu, go preferences, then set your spawn location to Kusatka, then go to appearances and change the outfit to force a game to save these settings. Now open pause menu, go online and change session to invite only and you'll be spawned in Kusatka in few seconds. So head back to planning screen to proceed the setups for Kyo Heist. For vehicle approach, we're gonna do the long fin approach setup mission since it's the way easy approach among most of Kyo grinders. So let's get to it and by the way, beach your Kusatka at Vespucci beach, it saves you time during setups back and forth. Now go to this yellow dot in the radar and while you're on your way, Pebble will send you the location to get the truck to get a long fun or you can spot the truck on your own. Just get the truck and go to the police station to steal the long fin boat. Now once you're there, just get in backwards, attach the long fin and leave. Then get out of the truck and kill yourself. This will remove the wanted level immediately. Now hop on the truck and deliver it to the drop off location to complete the setup. 
Next is plasma color submission. To do that, go to the save files location and take a picture and send to Bevel. Then he will guide you to a location where you gotta fight your way to grab the plasma cutter and deliver it to Kosatka to complete the setup. To get the fingerprint cloner, you gotta go to the warehouse and fight a bunch of cards, then hack the laptop, go to the archive and grab the cloner and deliver it to Kosatka. How to get the cutting torch quiet or sneaky? Well, there's an easy way to do it. Just go to construction site and wear this hard hat. Now try to use your camera phone to zoom in and find out that which box has a cutting torch. Then once you figure out, grab it while avoiding the guard's vision cone and deliver it to Kasatka. How to do the weapon loadout mission easy and sneaky? To do that, Always choose the roof entrance, go in, use the pressure weapon and take only headshots, just like this. Now let's do the final Kyo Perico heist. Watch this walkthrough guide closely so it might help you guys in your gameplay. Thank you for watching.
Anda por aquí. Lo veas un rato. Thank <laughs> you. 